So which property is better for cash flow, a multifamily triplex or a co-living single family property? You're not gonna believe the answer. Make sure you stick around. A co-living single is essentially just a series of master suites within a single family property. So your typical single family property is three bed, one bathroom, right? That's your starter home. What we do is we break that property down to the four walls and reconstruct it as three beds and three baths. Those are three uh, master suites with one bedroom, one bathroom each. And we can rent those master suites out for about $700, $750 a month in target cities across the country really fast if you're enjoying the content make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and leave a comment in the comment section that says i subscribed for everyone who leaves that comment i'm going to send you instant access to my free real estate training that shows you how to acquire properties for pennies on the dollar all across the country you don't want to miss out on that free offer with your triplex we're going to compare this to a three unit triplex with uh, three one bed, one bath units. So this is kind of a typical deal. The triplex is going to rent out for slightly more, right? Somebody who has their own individual unit where they're not sharing anything, like in the co-living situation where you're sharing the kitchen, even though you have your own studio, which is that one bed and one bathroom. Uh, you have your own bathroom, but you're sharing the kitchen. In the triplex, you're not sharing that. So. The rent is about 800, sometimes 825 a month in the triplex situation per unit versus in the co-living where it's closer to about around 700, 750 a month. Um, but we're getting three out of each, right? When we talk about utilities, we're sharing utilities in both of these properties. Typically with your multifamily, you're at least sharing the water, right? The, the water's coming in on one line and it's funding the entire property. So you can certainly split it up by using like rubs or some type of um, calculation to break up the, the cost of the water amongst all of the tenants, but it's still a shared utility. With co-living, you're dealing with shared utilities as well. We also know there are a lot of multifamily buildings where they share the heat, um, like the gas bill, and you'll just kind of split it up. The triplex is typically gonna be more expensive than the co-living single because this is a single family property. These multi-family properties have a lot more competition. Everybody who wants to build cash flow is going after the multi-family property. So your cost is just way more expensive here when you're going on the acquisition side than when you're going for a co-living single, a property that's kind of dilapidated a little bit, single family, you can get it for dirt cheap, uh, there are places where you can grab these properties for ten thousand dollars and then full renovate them uh into this type of cash flow so you're definitely better off buying the single family when it comes to acquisition costs taxes the taxes are much higher on a multi than a single because the footprint of the building is typically bigger um the acquisition price is higher and taxes are a derivative of the acquisition price so you're typically getting lower taxes, substantially lower, which means more cash flow. Taxes are one of those things that eat into your cash flow. So if your property taxes are lower, you are much better off, right? Uh, less exit strategies. When you go to sell a multifamily property, you have to sell that property to another investor typically. There aren't a ton of owner occupants who want to live and then rent a unit. They'd rather just have their own property. So when we go for exit strategies, we, we have to sell this to another investor. Whereas if we own a co-living single family property and we want to exit, we want to sell it to the market, flip it, we can still sell that property to a single family person, uh, somebody who just wants to move in. Maybe they want to live with an in-law, so they now have these master suites where they can move in a parent, have them in their own master suite, and kind of have them out of their hair a bit. But you have three beds and three baths working for you constantly with these co-living singles. So it's a good setup there. Um, we can always sell it to the regular markets. You can also sell this to investors, people who want to build cash flow, young people who want to use their FHA and live in one of the master suites, rent out the other two and live for free and do a house hack. They can house hack this just like they can house hack a multi. So lots of exit options. I would even say more exit options than your traditional multifamily property. Um, there are higher expenses with a triplex than there are with a co-living single. When you think about things like 
um, insurance and property maintenance and some of the, the fees associated with owning a property, there are lower expenses there on a single family than a multi. We all know that, right? Uh, the big benefit of the multi is typically the cash flow, but with co-living singles, the cash flow is, is very comparable. And in fact, it's more because there are less expenses, lower expenses, lower fees, lower acquisitions, all these things working for you. So at the end of the day, even if you're getting slightly more rent for this one bed, one bath in the triplex in the multifamily traditional setting, today, because of how people live in the younger generations, you can rent out these properties in these three suite co-living setups at a nice premium because the product doesn't exist and it's an affordable cost. $750 a month is very affordable. It's for the working class. So when you build this product, you get more cash flow. Bottom line, you get more cash flow. The typical co-living single family property cash flows at $1,000 a month or more. So if you go out and build these properties, you're going to increase your cash flow very fast, certainly much more than your traditional single family property, which is only cash flowing anywhere. I mean, I know people who are getting like $100 or $200 a door and they're happy. I'm happier with $1,000 per door, per front door on my co-living single. And it's way more cash flow than your traditional multi. Also, if you're limited on cash, you're lower on cash and you want to get started with less money, going after the co-living singles is the way to go versus going after these big multis where you have to have more money to play in that game. There you have it, co-living single. I'm going to give it my check of approval. It beats multifamily housing, and I'm a diehard multifamily person, but I found co-living to be that strategy that just excels. It supersedes multifamily investing. If you want to learn more about this, make sure you tap into my masterclass where I teach this and a lot more how to scale up these operations, how to do this all across the country, how to get started with little to no money, how to transition out of the nine to five, all those things that you think about. We can take the fear out of real estate for you, right? So make sure you take me up on that. Click the link associated with this video. I'll leave a message that says I subscribed, get your free gifts, and I'll see you guys on the other side. And as an extra bonus for sticking around, I'm going to give you instant access to my 24 seven cash flow playbook and five step 30 day bonus training where I break down in detail the exact strategy that I use to acquire and full gut renovate over 300 rental properties in less than five years. I'm also going to extend access to a complimentary one on one coaching call. That session allows me and my team to diagnose your business and show you how you can fast track your success by tapping into our done for you model. So if you want to claim these Free gifts, go ahead and just click that link and schedule your free coaching call. But these slots fill up quickly, so you definitely have to move fast. Like when I stop, it's just who I'm in. Like, but they're all dug when I blend. Don't try to run up, think it's who I'm in. Like, pop that cape, shoot a double hand. Like, that's some bra, I'm up in the team. I don't got him, we up on his man. Like, drink when I block, are they telling that thing? Like, Dougie got sad, now he walk, I'm like, damn. Like, damn. Or on the rifle, or left Gun on my block and I see that flip Hey, okay, who that take vep? Finally got started with selling a pop Make some bra, I'm up and flip I bet if I had it